Good morning, it's, I think it's Wednesday. Wednesday, it's uh, 8 a.m. Sun's up, sun's out. Rare occasion around here lately. It's like you get uh, two beautiful days and then six cloudy, gloomy days. Anyways, it's even though the sun's out, it's not impressive. My truck says 39 degrees. I think it got down to 32 last night. We were 80 last uh, Sunday and um, yeah, it's like it's uh, 81 day rain, and then sunny, and then snow, and then cold, and it just can't make up its mind. Anyways, today is uh, window day at the house. I'm on my way uh, right now to uh, let everybody in, and uh, I got some caulking to do. They're gonna put new windows in the house today, which will be nice, and then allow Blake and I to do our next step of uh, shiplap on that uh, family room wall, so. Pretty excited there. Hopefully they're in and out today and no no issues or any setbacks would be wonderful. All right, guys, here's the wrap up for Wednesday. Um, every, I don't know what time it is. Let me take a peek. Let me take a gander. It is 3.30. Started at 7.30, so not too shabby. Just a quick little wrap up for the day. New window in the bedroom. I caulked. Some sanding still needs to happen. I caulked all the baseboard today. Not so easy. Blake and I kind of stripped it the best we could. Filled them with caulk, we'll see how that turns out. When it's been painted two, three times, it doesn't sound, seem to cooperate. This room was a little easier. There's your new window here. And then I started uh, caulking the perimeter in here. I ran out of caulk, why well, didn't run out? I just didn't want to open a new tube, I'll do that tomorrow. Two new windows in front. We don't have the one single window, we did two double hung. Easier to maintain, nice clean look. There you go, double hung there. Two double hungs here in the back. If you recall, I don't know if I showed you what this looked like, but it was a disaster. Um, they had to rebuild uh, the entire jam. I drywalled it in because it was it was messy. So tomorrow I'll be shiplap on this wall with Blake. There's two windows. Now I'm going to give you a tour of the outside. So here's the windows from the outside, all aluminum framed in. They look really good. They did a really nice job. Uh, Dan Yankee is the guy I used. Very impressed with their workmanship. I mean, in and out, in and out. Clean, clean, clean. There's Dan's truck. Dan's windows. I'm impressed. Very good job, Dan. Here's the window out here. Very nice. Anyways, here's the front. Double hung. And then these two. They certainly look pretty. They turned out really, really nice. Brand new. So that is a wrap for the day. So a lot of trim work to do. A lot of carpentry. I gotta frame all the inside windows and all the baseboard after we get the ship lap. But from there, just kind of cleaning up, getting the kitchen done and some flooring and stuff. So hopefully in a couple weeks we're done. So I got the first room done. This one was pretty easy. Literally probably took me about 30 minutes, if even. And then we go next door to this bedroom. And this one was kind of a pain because it's popcorn ceiling. It's the only room in this house that has it and it's super annoying. The paint 
just get sucked right up. So because I had to put the paint on like super thick, this is what I look like. I literally thought I was gonna come here and paint and then go see my friend's baby today. That ain't happening. <laughs> I had to go home and shower and clearly change clothes. Blake has been in counter working on the ship lap out there, so it's kind of loud out there. All right, so the guys are blaring music upstairs, so I'm purposely talking while the compressor's on, so you just hear the loud humming. But this is what the ceiling looked like. Like, this is terrible lighting. Okay, see what the ceiling looked like? It's kind of like speckled brown. Well, I'm painting this side. So, it's gonna need a second coat, unfortunately, but painting all of that. Probably gonna do the second coat over here and then be done for the day because it's about three o'clock and my back is killing me. All right, I got the first coat of the entire basement ceiling done so that way I just have to do one coat and one coat, final coat will go a lot faster than the first coat. Not very exciting, but my neck and back hurts and my Hair is filled with paint, so I'm gonna go home. Hope this should all come out. Paint comes out usually out of here pretty easily, so done for the day, it's four o'clock. We got those, we need that uh, tumbler. Mm -hmm. painting down here it's still wet so it's it might look kind of streaked that's just because there's areas that are starting to dry and other areas that are wet I still have to do the trim at the floor so it's not completely done here's an overview so I still have to do the doors and the trim around the doors and the trim at the floor oh and around the windows too it's just primed so far. That's why it looks white, but it's really not completely painted. And we have carpet ordered for May 16th. So for down here, and for the bedrooms upstairs. So I just have to get the bedrooms upstairs done by May 16th. Ken's doing the trim around the windows today because you know, get the new windows upstairs. And then we'll be painting like the hallway, the family room, the foyer, the kitchen. We picked out the floor for the dining room and kitchen, and we picked out the floor for the bathroom, and we picked out a backsplash for the kitchen. So we still have, uh, I feel like, so much to do still. So I wanted to show you guys that the shiplap is completely done. We're not even going to have to paint this wall. It turned out perfect. And here's the trim around the windows that Ken got done. All the bedroom windows are done as well. I'll show you guys those once we get those rooms painted. We have a disaster of a mess in the kitchen because where we tore all that wallpaper off can like patched all the drywall and then sanded it and like look at <laughs> it makes a huge huge mess he's going right now we have the shop back over there but he's got a new filter for it because we need to be able to shop back off this mess this carpet is destroyed we're keeping this carpet but man we probably should have covered it a long time ago and we have the new floor for the uh kitchen and dining room area going in next including the bathroom floor oh this light's coming out we're moving that light over here that light's coming out and we got a new like foyer light a different light for here i think or maybe do we get the different light maybe we're leaving this and maybe we got a different light for there i don't remember new lights for in the basement for those lights so there's still a lot of stuff to do. The whole bathroom needs painted, the cabinet needs painted, granite needs cut, sink, new sink, new faucet. I am just in love with this kitchen floor. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? 
And we're gonna have the walls painted a light gray, the same gray that we went with in the gym of our basement. And then the trim, all white. We're gonna have all this green will be gone with a beautiful backsplash. I'll show you guys soon. But look at that, I love it. It's like kind of gray, but also kind of brown. Like I feel like once we paint the walls gray, it'll pull the gray out of it. But this is what we ended up going with. This laminate flooring that we got from Menards. It really wasn't expensive at all. I was kind of surprised. So still a lot to do, but this is going to wrap up this update video a lot. I feel like we've gotten a lot done. I can't wait to go back when it's all finished and look at like before and after. I think we're really killing it. We're doing a great job. Ken's doing a great job. My arms just feel like they're gonna fall off with all the painting. I'm back here today. We had to touch up some of the gray in the basement and I'm painting all the trim. I'll show you guys that in the next video once it's all done and the new carpet is laid. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.